Hey, so here we are back at the big board. It's been a while since I've had a little one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Unfortunately, this time having a one-on-one, -on -one, I just want to do a little rebuttal. Uh, we could call it a rant if we want, but it's not really a rant because I'm really not angry about anything in particular. I'm just disappointed more than anything else. Um, <clears throat> and particularly, uh, this has to deal, to deal with a, uh, a growing trend in the wargaming I guess mainly in the Facebook Wargamers group, uh, where anytime anyone has anything critical or questioning or uh, you know asks difficult questions about a, a designer or a, a publisher, and in particular, you know, there's two companies in particular to get that have a, a, a fairly rabid group of uh, fanboys, where no matter what the, the publisher or the designers do in those houses. It's absolutely fine and perfect, and and why would you expect anything else? And I, I, I and and having people swear and you know say, oh well, you know, you treat that company like shit, blah blah blah. Well, you're seeing one, one post with multiple comments because you, if you comment on a post I make, and you make a valid point, or you try and make a point, or you disagree with me, I'm gonna try and engage you in a conversation. And maybe I'm too matter of fact uh, for you. That's your problem. Uh, I'm also uh, I'm also not going to pander to you. I'm just going to if I disagree, I disagree, right? So uh, if you can't handle that, then you need to just move on and go somewhere else on Facebook because there's lots of freaking places to go and argue. Let's leave all the polit politics out of the war games group and and all that strident arguing that goes on uh, in that nasty little world in American politics. And let's do, focus on the games and have conversations about whether the way a company handles their P500 or the way they manufacture their maps or the way their rules bo rule books are laid out or the finish of the counters or the quality of their counters or the quality of the gameplay. Let's have a conversation about those things because it's 2018, it's not 1966. And, and I don't expect to have, be treated like a like a customer in in the 1990s even right so so I expect more and I and I and I get more from lots of other vendors and I buy their games but I also support uh, other uh, the, the major plays as well uh, so when you sit there and post and say to me oh well you know you really you, I wish you would start a company and uh, and uh, well, we could then all you know treat you like shit, like you like you treat uh, MMP. Really, come on. How many, how many posts have I posted? How many blog posts and videos have I done on MMP products? Do you want you guys want to guess? Now pop a pop a comment in down below and try and guess how many OCS, TCS, SCS. Uh, uh, the MBS system, the Napoleonic Brigade system, whatever it's called, uh, a victory denied, a victory lost. Uh, uh, what's the other one in the magazine? Played that. Played most of the magazine game. Played ASL a couple of times. Well, not ASL. Starter kit. Uh, you know, have a guess. Put a post. Put a post on the comments in here and put a number down. I'll give you a clue. There's 4,900 blog posts and videos on my blog at the moment. Uh, and I've done probably 90% of those. Uh, there are certainly other posts from other people. But only my stuff, out of all those you know, 4,000 posts, how many or what percentage do you think uh, are multi-man publishing posts? Sometimes people make comments criticize or ask for better because they like something or are passionate about something or care about something. And uh, they, I've mentioned this before, there's a very real risk for certain companies to be left behind and lose the dollar market share as their customer base ages, number one, and as their, as their level of either service or delivery to the marketplace, or quality of product, or innovation of product, uh, stays the same, or petrifies, even worse, right? While new companies, there are so many new companies out there that make 
quite good products and innovative products and are changing the way some parts of wargaming is being treated with just as sophisticated and interesting and in-depth and meaty and challenging and historical product as what's available from some of the, the more established players. I'll, I'll note with interest that GMT has spent two years nearly trying to change their website and their ordering system and the integration of that and, and the massive complications that went on with that. And I, and I don't know Gene, I've met uh, you know Mark Simonich a couple of times, and uh, you know a few other folks. Uh, but I, I don't know the company, and I don't know the people there. But I have heard secondhand how complex and how difficult that was. And I am very proud of the fact that that company has made that effort and that endeavor because they realized they couldn't scale, they couldn't service their customers, and they couldn't deliver the quality of service and quality of product that they wanted to to their customers without moving their order entry, uh, order fulfillment, their, uh, their web-based uh, content into the, uh, in, into the 2020s. That's where we're headed, right? It's 2018 now. So they, they've got, now got Twitter feed, social media uh, out the yin yang, blog posts coming uh, multiple times a week, I mean, it's a one-stop shop of amazing content that you could spend hours on every week. And it, it engages people and it gets them to open their wallets and spend more money. And so what? If, so if someone's spending more than they normally would with GMT, they sure as hell like, I ain't spending it with somebody else. And so my question and my comment, and specifically the reason why I'm making this video, which is a general comment about the industry, but uh, specifically with regards to MMP, was uh, both... I went to the website to look at uh, the number of maps that were in Small Anx just to confirm the number of counters uh, and <clears throat> had the OCS title. And I wanted to, uh, and I'd also been asked a question about, you know, how much did it cost and all that sort of stuff and was it worth it? And should they get uh, order for Barbarossa instead with the SES system? And so I, I wanted to go to the website and have a look and compare notes. Well. Once, P5, once the PXX, once the P500 has reached at Multiman Publishing and they're ready to ship, you cannot see the listing, you cannot uh, read anything about the product, you cannot order the product until all the pre-orders are shipped. And I understand that they want to give people a benefit for ordering early, right? Putting your money, uh, put, putting the order in up front, not your money, but putting your order in up front. That's great. One of the three or four times in the, uh, the, the lifetime of a game that it gets a lot of attention and a lot of noise in the marketplace is when, uh, it, you know, you get the notification, your credit card's just been charged and we're, we're packing and shipping your game and everyone goes, yay, I'm getting my game, I'm so excited. And they post pictures and all that sort of fun stuff. And then people go, oh my gosh, I'd like to get that. What's that? Which is one of the reasons why, I, if I can, I try and get in on the P500s early so that I get my game early so that I can share it with you guys, just a shrink rip or whatever, or if I can play it straight away, it's great. So that maybe you'll get excited and go play, play that game or buy that game. And that helps the industry and we, we sell more games and, and more people buy games these guys stay in business, right? So when I go to go to the website and uh, and I, I, you know, I saw the post and I, I was all kind of all excited and I wanted to check and make sure I, I actually had ordered it because I canceled a couple of orders uh, over there and decided to go get them at NWS, but then NWS stopped shipping OCS games, uh, sorry, uh, MMP games, but now they do them again. So I, I'm just ordering them straight from MMP, sidebar, sorry. So I go to the website, can't find the listing. It's not listed under OCS titles. It's not listed under pre-order titles. It's not listed anywhere. So um, you you miss a window. Now there are other windows. There are other opportunities to promote and market, and that's fine. But for goodness sake, uh, and I imagine this is to do with the website because that website has got to be every bit of twenty years old, and maybe it's not. Maybe it's only ten years old, right, or eight, or whatever it is. But it's creaky, man, and, uh, and it's difficult to manage by the looks of it, and it's probably not very flexible. 
So I understand that. And maybe that's not a priority for that company and it's their company and that's their choice. But when I see something like that and, and I have people asking me questions and I'm curious myself and I can't see your product on your website to even look at it, to decide if I wanted to buy it, if I hadn't ordered it, it's completely gone from the website. It staggers me. I don't understand why you would think that was a good, sensible business practice and that the 400 or 500 people that, you know, religiously in a zealous manner order your game, every, your games every time, why that needs, that's more important to you than reaching out to the rest of us and allowing the rest of us to at least see what the product is and understand what the product's about and maybe then turn up and buy it later whenever it is you decide to reactivate the link so that it's visible on the website. And then maybe I can buy it at retail and that's fine. Are there other places that I can go to find out about a product? Yes, I can go to Consum World forums. No, thank you. I'm not going to go over there. Talk about cesspool of uh, negativity and ass biting. Very few, uh, very few buckets of uh, places I will go on the CS, CSW forums that could. Because, damn, you think I get? Uh, you know, I, I hold things to a, a high standard, or or I'm hard on games. Those guys are insane over there. I, I won't spend time over there unless I absolutely have to. Board game geek, can I go there? Yes, I can. But I can't find out what the pre-order price is, really. I can't find out uh, all the details that I want to find out there. And I shouldn't have to. I should be able to go to the publisher's site. So anyway, um, that's my, I guess it is rant, right? So there's my little, there's my little uh, update. I, I just see, I see game, uh, well, board game companies uh, that uh, I'm looking at the wall here. I've got some maps up on the wall from game uh, publishers that are trying to do different things and new things and, and innovate. And I'm looking at uh, the advances that companies like GMT and Compass are making. And I worry about multi-man publishing. They've made decisions about the TCS system that I'm not thrilled about. Their uh, corporate policy for, for pre-orders and orders and uh, visibility on the marketplace is not ideal in my view. That's only my view, right? But that's one voice. That's okay. Uh, I'm glad that Multiman Publishing have a uh, new social media dude who's doing good stuff, posting images and making uh, a little bit of a wave out there. That's great. I think we can do better. And that's all, that was all my point was, is we can do better. So instead of you, Mr. Snarky Dick, on, uh, on Facebook Wargamers group, instead of you being uh, rude to me, directly to my face, or on, on Facebook, you know, how about just listen to what I'm saying, and if you disagree, then I disagree, but you don't need to uh, be, a, be a dick about it, right? Because I, I don't care, it doesn't, it, it annoys me, and I think I'm more annoyed because of all the other stuff that is going on in the, in the wargaming world in general. But uh, you know, you're pushing you're pushing buttons, and today I decided that I wanted to respond, and I'm and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just sit by and let you be a smartass about it and uh, and be rude to me and get away with it. So, uh, Martin Sample and uh, you and your buddies. Congratulations, you got me to post some video about it. So now maybe two, three or 400 more people will know about uh, the problems with the MMP website. So hopefully that won't hurt their business, right? Uh, instead of having a, a congenial conversation with me and having a discussion about what's good and bad business practices or what, uh, what they might be able to do differently, uh, now we got this. So keep up the good work, all the best.